Luxury spend over Christmas will most likely be in line with previous years. We're not expecting a huge increase. The appetite for luxury has changed from 2007-2008. Um, higher ticket items are still providing harder to sell, so high-end jewellery, high-end watches uh, are having a tougher time than the core luxury products like clothing, accessories, perfume and cosmetics. Uh, this year, I think Christmas will be, as it was in 2010, cautiously optimistic. The iPad that we've created, um, it's probably one of the iconic um, gadgets in the marketplace at the moment. Now, the beauty of it is that you know individuals who's bought the iPad want something completely different from their spouse. So what we decided to do was add a bit of luxury to it. Um, we've created it in 24 karat gold um, and then iced out the Apple logo um, with diamonds. What that does is gives a distinctive feature that makes it look outstanding, beautiful and also exclusive. You want to be distinctive, you want to stand out, you want to feel special, you want to feel that you're, you've created something that you, has a bit of your personality in it. And that's why people get bespoke, that's why they come to us and get something unique. A watch like this, uh, it's a very expensive watch, mainly due to the materials used, platinum. There's ruthenium on the dial as well. And also it takes a very, very long time to make. It takes a long time to develop. Uh, it's a new movement, a new invention. And it takes many, many hours of um, finishing, polishing, uh, all done by highly skilled craftsmen. Board games are very popular and I believe the reason for that is because people are actually becoming a little boss-eyed with computer games and it's a way of getting the family back round the table and playing the things they've always played. So backgammon, chess, snakes and ladders, ludo, dominoes, all these things that have been synonymous with the past um, are still with us and we've created these games in a very very upmarket way. There's, people have so much stuff in their lives. Um, there's a real new era, I think, of, of not just sort of adding to the pile just another expensive handbag with a brand on it. It's about sort of really um, having those pieces in your life that you really love and are different from everybody else.
Looking into 2011, uh, brands are uh, investing in their proposition overseas, especially given that the UK is such an attractive market uh, that UK luxury has a number of very appealing characteristics to foreign buyers. Within the UK also, luxury brands are boosting their online spend uh, to increase more buyers within the UK from that channel.